This video is a complete guide to installing macOS on an old Mac. It covers everything from downloading to installation, including common errors and their solutions. First we download macOS from Apple website. Next, we will convert the downloaded PKG file into a macOS installer and after that, we will create a bootable USB drive to install macOS. I have kept everything simple and easy to follow. So if you are looking to give your old Mac a new life, then follow along with me. Before we begin, here is what we will need. We need an internet connection and a blank USB drive. First we download the macOS installer. If you have an older Mac, you can find the installers on your App Store. Older installers are still available on the App Store for compatible Macs. However, if you are using a New Year Mac, you might encounter an error when downloading these installers from the App Store. In that case, we need to adopt a different approach to get the installers into our application folder. For that, open your web browser and visit the Apple support page. Scroll down to the section for older versions. All old macOS installers from macOS X line to macOS Sierra available for download here. Click on the version of macOS you need and the downloading will begin. After downloading, navigate to your downloads folder and open the macOS X DMG file. Inside, you will find a PKG file named install macOS X or something similar. Normally, we install this PKG file on our computer to transfer the macOS installer into our application folder. However, on New Year Macs, this process may result in an error. Therefore, we will use a different method to extract the macOS installer from the PKG file. For that, Open your terminal app. Don't worry, it's simple. Just copy paste or type one simple command and you are done. First I changed my directory to the desktop for easy access. To do this, I type cd space desktop and hit the enter key. Next either copy paste or type the following command pkgutil space dash dash expand dash full give a space and drag and drop your macOS X pkg file into the terminal window. This section will automatically enter the path of the pkg file into the terminal window. After that, add a space and type dash f. Now hit the enter key. This command will create a folder named dash f on your desktop and extract the macOS X pkg file into that folder. After extracting, close the terminal app. Next, navigate to your extracted folder. Right click on the install macOS X pkg file and choose show package contents. Inside, you will find a DMG file called install ESD. Copy it. Next, navigate to payload folder where you will see the macOS installer. Right click on it and choose show package contents. Now, open the contents folder and then share support folder. Paste the install ESD file here. After that, return to the payload folder and drag the macOS installer into your application folder. Now that you have the macOS installer, you can create a bootable USB drive from it. For that, plug your USB drive into your Mac. Please note that this process will erase all data on the USB drive. So, Make sure there is no important data on it before proceeding. Once you are ready, open the Distributed app. 
From the view menu, select show all devices. In the sidebar, select the top level of your USB drive and click on the erase button. Name your USB drive MZ Learning. In the format drop down menu, select macOS extended journal. Set the partition scheme to gate. Once everything is set, click the erase button. After erasing, click the done button and close the disk utility app. Now that we have the full offline installer and our USB drive is prepared, let's make it bootable. Open your terminal app. Copy this command from the video description and paste it into your terminal. If your USB drive's name is different from mine, replace MZ Learning with your USB drive's name. After that, hit the enter key, type your admin password and hit the enter key again. Type Y for confirmation and hit enter. This process will take some time depending on your hardware configuration. After a few minutes, your bootable USB drive will be ready. Now close the terminal application. Congratulations, we have successfully created a bootable macOS USB drive from the package file. And now we can install macOS using this USB drive. Just put the drive into your old Mac, turn it on, and immediately hold down the option key. From the boot picker screen, select the USB drive, hit the enter key and wait for it to boot. After boot, if you want to perform a clean installation, then select this utility. Please remember that a clean installation will erase all data on your internal hard drive. So make sure to backup your important data before erasing your hard drive. In this utility, select the top level of your internal hard drive and click on the erase button. Name your hard drive MZ Learning. Don't worry, you can easily change this name later. From the format drop down menu, select macOS extended journal. However, if you are installing macOS here or later, you will see an additional option called APFS. Choose that option. Anyway, set the partition scheme to gain and after that, hit the erase button. After erasing the drive, close the disk utility application. Now install macOS. All the next steps will be automatic and require no action from your side. However, if you encounter an error, click the OK button to return to the macOS utilities. Next, navigate to the utilities menu and click on terminal. In terminal, carefully type the following command as it is. If your internal hard drive has a different name than mine, Replace MZ Learning with the name of your hard drive and then hit the enter key. The macOS installation will now begin. During this process, you will not see any activity on your screen. This process may take some time, around 30 minutes or so. So, please sit back and relax. Once you see a message indicated that the macOS installation was successful, you can close the terminal. After that, exit the macOS utilities window and restart your Mac. After the restart, you will see the welcome screen. Congratulations. We have successfully installed macOS on our old Mac. Now we can configure our Mac according to our needs. 
So friends, that's how you can install macOS on your old Mac. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. If you want to support me, please share this video. I truly appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Peace.